Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Be Energized. For today, I'm raising the question, did Nissan nail the coffin shut for the Chatamo standard with the unveiling of the Nissan Aria last week? Well, maybe they did, maybe they didn't, but today's episode is going to be fully focused on that. So before I begin, if you're new to my channel, definitely consider subscribing. It means a lot and I definitely appreciate all the new subscribers. But if you are returning to Be Energized, thank you for the continued support. So there's a lot of talk going around the internet with what's going to happen with the Chatamo standard. On Wednesday, July 15th, Nissan unveiled their newest electric vehicle, which is called the Nissan Aria, which is an all-electric crossover. Uh, and this new vehicle actually is coming standard with the CCS charging standard versus what Nissan previously used as known as the Chatamo charging standard for fast charging. So with that being said, there's a lot of talk on the internet basically saying now that Nissan is moving away from the Chatamo standard, it is pretty much killing off that standard for this new one, the CCS. So I wanted to do a video and discuss, is the Chatamo really dead? Um, you know, is this standard totally disappearing? Well, the fact is, is that it's not. But before we get to that point, I kind of want to do a brief introduction and in history for those who are new to electric vehicles you may be wondering, what is Chatamo? Um, and honestly, that is a really good question and I'm about to answer that. And honestly, that's a really good question. And another thing you might be wondering is, how do I even spell that? So how you spell it, it's capital C-H-A, lowercase D-E, uppercase M-O. And what that means is charge and move. And obviously, uh, some of the letters are obviously abbreviated, uh, so you get that acronym, CHATAMO. And pretty much what that means is charge and move is that it's a DC fast charging standard that was meant to charge electric vehicles quickly, so you charged and then you left. You charged and moved. So that's kind of a good way to remember that when you're thinking about the CHATAMO standard. CHATAMO originated actually in Japan. Uh, research for the standard started in 2005, if you can believe it or not, 15 years ago. And it was founded by five Japanese companies. Uh, you have TEPCO, which is the Tokyo Electric Power Company. You have Nissan, Mitsubishi, uh, Subaru, which at the time was Fuji Industrial, uh, which is now Subaru. And then later on, Toyota joined in. So these five companies together wanted to create a charging standard for electric vehicles and future uh, vehicles that were coming down the road. Basically, the mission for the Chatamo charging standard is that these companies wanted to create something that would allow for future electric vehicles to charge rapidly and quickly. And believe it or not, research for the Chatamo actually started in 2005, so 15 years ago. It's kind of hard to believe that the technology was in development way back then and we're just now starting to see vehicles using it. It's pretty cool. So at the time, the main purpose of Chatamo was obviously to charge an electric vehicle very quickly. And at the time, there was the first version, which charged the car at max 100 kilowatts. So at the time, if you can think about it 15 years ago, that's pretty impressive to have a charging standard that could charge a car that quickly. Moving forward, they eventually unveiled version 2, which could charge a car at up to 400 kilowatts. Which, uh, if you are familiar with electric vehicles, there's actually no cars on the road right now that can charge that quickly. But the fact that it's almost like a future-proof standard, uh, it just was really cool, especially with it being um, about 10 years ago that they came out with version 2. And now they are working on a version 3 for future uh, electric vehicles that can charge quickly. Version 3 can charge up to 900 kilowatts, which is just ultra fast, which is just very, very impressive. So that's pretty much the background on the Chatamo uh, and where the standard came from and what it's capable of. Uh, obviously, there's a few more features that we're going to get to later in this conversation. But right now, that's just kind of a basic background of where the Chatamo came from and where it's going. Now, if you remembered before I mentioned the CCS charging standard, which is going to be on the new Nissan Aria. The CCS charging standard is a charge design that actually came out of Europe. And what this pretty much is, is that it allows for DC fast charging. Uh, if you look at the J1772 standard, which is kind of like the typical level two AC charging for electric vehicles, 
it looks very similar to that. However, there's going to be two points at the bottom of the charger that is for direct current pins or DC pins, which connects directly to your vehicle and charges directly into the battery pack, bypassing the onboard inverter. Um, so that standard originated in Europe. Uh, you had companies like Volkswagen, BMW, Porsche, um, Audi backing that, and believe it or not, uh, they actually installed the first CCS charger back in 2013, which is by Volkswagen. Volkswagen actually installed the first public charger, and then two weeks later, BMW installed the first public CCS charger. And this standard has become increasingly popular over time, especially in the past few years. Uh, vehicles have come standard or optional with the CCS charging standard, and it actually have, has totally overpopulated versus the Chatamo charger standard, which you can really only find on the Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV or the plug-in hybrid, uh, or the current Nissan Leaf. So this is where a lot of people are thinking with Nissan switching to the CCS standard for the Aria, that it is nailing the head in the coffin for the Chatamo charger, at least here in the United States. However, a lot of the DC fast chargers that you visit here in the United States have both charging standards. You can find the CCS and Chatamo at, at uh, the majority of fast chargers from ChargePoint, Electrify America, EVgo, just a lot of different manufacturers to name. You can find those standards there. So it's just kind of interesting that a lot of people are concerned that this is going to kill off the Chatamo. And uh, I would say maybe saying concerned is a bad word because a lot of people are excited about the standardized charge standards. Um, which I totally agree. I think it would definitely make it easier for adaptation. Um, however, the thing is, is that Chatamo is not going anywhere, especially in Asian countries and European countries. And there's a reason why Chatamo is not going anywhere. In fact, in Europe, by law, charging stations have to have both charging standards. And the reason is, is that it honestly is only about a 5% increase in cost to install chargers with both charging standards. And with older vehicles on the road using the Chatamo charging standard, you have to have a way to constantly be able to charge these vehicles. So it only makes sense that those chargers are going to continuously have the Chatamo standard um, at least, you know, you can find the cable for that at these charging stations, uh, especially in Asia. The majority of the charging uh, stations over there uh, are Chatamo standards. Um, in fact, they actually are the vast majority. Uh, and I'm assuming CCS eventually will overtake that. But right now, Nissan said the Aria is only going to have the CCS charging standard for the United States and for Europe. In Japan and other Asian countries, I'm assuming it will have the Chatamo standard just because of how popular that charging standard is and has been over there. Um, especially with the introduction of version 3 Chatamo, I think that they're going to continue making vehicles with that, but we'll have to see. I think right now CCS in the United States is going to overtake the Chatamo standard, but I think you can expect if you buy a Nissan Leaf or a Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV, you're always going to have a uh, peace of mind that when you go to a charging station, you'll be able to charge using their chat and low. Um, but one thing to keep in mind too, since CCS is so popular compared to the chat and low charging standard, most of the time at like an Electrify America charging um, location, there's only one chat and um, station or only one Chatamo standard there. So you're just gonna run into that from time to time. There may be a chance that charging station isn't available because you have one Chatamo compared to seven CCS charging stations. So just keep that in mind if you are interested in buying a used Nissan Leaf uh, or Mitsubishi Outlander PHEV. So before I end this video, I wanted to provide you guys a fun fact about Chatamo. And this is really, really cool. The Chatamo standard is actually the only standard that allows bi-directional current. And what that means is that you can do vehicle to grid or V2G. And what that is, is that it can utilize the electricity stored in the battery pack of an electric car and either power your house, send it back to the grid, you could use it as a battery storage. It's just really cool that Chatamo offers something like that. The technology is definitely being more developed, uh, especially in areas where it could be prone to power outages or if there's bad storms, you could utilize that bi-directional current to still continuously power your house using your electric car. 
Uh, right now, that is the only standard uh, that is allowing that. So it's a pretty cool fact uh, regarding Chatamo. With that being said, I would love to know your opinion on whether you think Chatamo is going to die out uh, or if you see think CCS is going to be the main future for electric vehicles. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see where things play out. I definitely think CCS is going to overtake Chatamo here in the United States. But like I mentioned, you're still always going to find the Chatamo standard at charging stations just due to legality and honestly ethics. <laughs> um, just because, you know, those cars are always going to be out there and they're going to have to have a way to charge. So regardless, I think you're always going to find a Chatamo option there, which is good if you're driving a vehicle that offers that. But thank you guys for watching this video. I appreciate it. If you enjoyed it, definitely share with your friends. Like it means a lot. And uh, if you're new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Definitely means a lot too. And thank you guys for returning to Be Energized if you're not new to my channel. But once again, I hope you guys are staying well or staying safe. Take care and make every single day electrifying. See you guys.